Today we're taking a look at the new Master Grade series of figures from Jazzwares. They are available on Amazon for $24.99 each, and as you can see, this series has all new packaging to give you that high-end action figure product feel. There is a flap over here that when you open it up, you can see more or all the accessories that come in the package, and on the inside of the flap, it does say for Midas Rex, long live the king. And each of these have their in-game Fortnite saying or their quote. I think the packages do look really cool. Anyway, all right, let's rip these open and find out if they are as awesome as they are presented. We begin by taking a look at Midas Rex. He is figure number 196, and he comes with the Midas Crest back bling. He comes with two, that's right, count them, two King's Makers, King king makers and why that's really cool is because hasbro only gave us one whoa, one king makers with their six inch figure he also has a helmet an armored helmet and then we got all these parts we've got the main part of the armor we have left and right arms here there we go left and right arms we'll put them on the correct sides left and right legs and left and right armored pieces and why these are I can't hold on to this stuff why these armored pieces are separate and not attached to the legs I got no idea but that's not the big deal the first thing I want to point out to you is you want to be careful this figure does contain small parts and what I mean by small parts let's scoot some of these things off to the side you lift his arms up and look at that one of them just fell off so the gold guns on his sides will come right off and so will I think these are smoke grenades of some sort they pop off as well the reason these pop off is so this armor can actually properly fit on here now originally I was gonna have some kind of negative thoughts about these small pieces that popped off until I learned why they pop off oh and he also comes with an instruction man it shows about the accessories and and all sorts of things about how to put the armor on and whatnot anyway this is a standard figure it has 28 points of articulation so when we put the armor on we will need those parts off in order to put the armor on and we're going to do that now we don't need to go through articulation although i will say that without midas and his guns golly does this not look like a really awesome figure he can put his arms straight down now i wish the other midas figures could do that because having them like always out like this just kind of weird so let's begin the transformation of midas into midas rex so first off well we should be able to just pop off these legs well we should be able to let's put them in a very awkward looking position and there we go we'll do it that way i don't know if that'll break it but we got his legs off we got his arms off and he's looking very uh very unhealthy here at the moment oh poor Midas we knew him well we knew him well all right we shall rebuild him and make him better right we'll snap on maybe oh good golly good truly miss Molly there we go I heard a snap I don't think this one wants to snap on there we go snap tight snap on snap tight and man that right leg that is tight <laughs> it looks a little weird come on man we're don't lose your head you've lost your arms but don't lose your head we'll pop this actually you know what let's wait and pop that portion of the doesn't he look awesome let's pull out this this has got some tape on it here and i think the tape is simply to hold the waist and the torso parts together let's stick this off to the side so his master grade gimmick is the armor that's all it is just armor <laughs> and and which which way is the front i think this is on the front so yep so <laughs> we'll unbelt this and hopefully we can belt it right back on i can kind of sort of belt it right back on so he's got his loin his armored golden loin cloth so looks weird and because i haven't put the arms on we can just kind of so this is kind of <laughs> by midas so this is an interesting way of putting the armor they have little knobs here little 
outcroppings and you'll just kind of put pressure over them like that. I can't do it loose, but maybe once it's on the figure, it'll work out much better. Kind of looks weird, like I've tucked his arms in. Okay, his head looks really weird right now. So, let's say that way again. So, kind of... I don't think this is going to work out very well. I don't know that his arm, chest armor is supposed to be over this waist armor here. So, we're going to pull down his uh, armored panties just a little bit. And I think this is a good thing that I didn't uh, try to put the arms on first. Um, ah, it looks like it's in the right spot, but golly, he's got like no room for his head there. He's like in a neck brace. I think that's attached. And so far, it's not bad. It's really actually not bad. It's just weird. Okay, so we put the left arm in. We put the right arm in. And he's still looking like a little weirdy guy. He'll do the hokey pokey and then the leg falls off. No, I'm just kidding. And then the final touch, well not the final touch, but let's get him into his helmet. He's not Midas Rex without his helmet. So there, we've got a Midas Rex figure and... Dang, unfortunately, he gives me a little bit of Omega vibes. If you, He's got better armor than Omega. The, at least the armor stays on. But, sorry, when I say Omega, I'm talking about the Legendary Series 6-inch Omega. That came with... It was the max level thing, for those who don't remember. And... And... I'm breathing heavy, because I'm thinking real hard. Oh, man... I don't know if they nailed this guy or not. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Let, let me know in the comments below. What do you? How do you think this looks? Do you think this looks good? I don't know yet. I really don't know. I'm not wanting to bash them just because. It's definitely not perfect. I you we we would get a much better figure had they actually just made this figure instead of using a Midas body and put armor on it. It was probably maybe cheaper for them to make. He's not wanting to stand up even. Um, it was probably cheaper. <laughs> Golly, come on. It was probably cheaper for them to make the armor than it was like a whole new figure. I'm going to take a guess, and that's why they did this. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm really conflicted. He almost looks cool, but there's parts of him that, that don't. There, there's just a few parts of him that don't. Let's put the cape on. <laughs> Those are going to... The Midas Crest. We'll put that on there. And Sorry, I don't mean to waste your time in my my confuzzlement. These... Uh, how do these even stay on? It looks like they're just supposed to attach on, but this one just doesn't want to. Let's give him... You almost get like a second figure anyway. I mean, come on, really. They gave you two arms and two legs. They almost gave you an entire figure in this box. So maybe they should have just gone ahead. So here's the thing about Master Grade. And I'll share a little bit now. And maybe a little bit more later. There's Midas Rex all armored up. I think Master Grade should be reserved for brand new items. I don't think any reused items should be reused. And I think if you're going to reuse items, then reuse that master grade stuff for later stuff. So if you make a brand new Midas Rex figure, I don't care. Reuse him later for the Midas Rex style with a head or something. I don't know. Um, but I think the master grade, the cost that we're paying and or the price we're paying and how they're tooting this, so to speak, as awesome premium level stuff, I don't know if this is premium or not. I really don't. So here, there's Midas Rex. Let's jump over and take a look at Oro. Next we have Oro, and in my opinion, I think he might be the best of the three. He's definitely my favorite. He comes with the Gilded Scepter Harvesting Tool, and look at that. Look at the shiny. And he has his Radiant Mantle Back Bling. Mine came just a little bit curled, pulling it out of the box, so you might want to be careful. If you haven't got this, this set yet, when you pull this out of the box, this might 
bend a little bit. It's like a fake leather and a bit of fabric here. It's kind of cool. If you haven't been able to tell by now, this gimmick on this master grade figure is the shiny weapons. And as we go into TNTina's or the golden version of TNTina's Kaboom Bow, they didn't make anything different. They just golded TNTina's Kaboom Bow. And a golden version of the drum gun. Would this be Midas's drum gun? I don't know. I'll let you discuss that in the comments below. So yeah, one thing you want to be careful about, well, these things, you can leave fingerprints on these really cool looking weapons pretty easily. So you're going to have to probably work on keeping them clean if you want them spotless. It's not metal, it's just a very mirrored light gold. It's actually a light gold look to it. And he has 28 points of articulation to my knowledge. This is figure 197. And like I said, I think he's the best. This is an entirely new mold. As far as I can tell, I don't think we've seen this before anywhere. And he the only problem really is, I was going to say there's really no hindrance, but there's so no hindrance. He kind of, you know, is beside himself. He pops off really easy as you rotate around. So if you go to lean him back or lean him forward, he's going to pop off. So you just be aware of that. At least my figure is. I can't wait to see. This is closer to what I would expect with a Master Grade figure is a new mold. And I would hope we will see, actually I know we're going to see Skelement Oro, but wouldn't it be cool if we could get parts for a black heart out of this figure? I think you could probably use some of the middle, maybe parts of the arms, legs, maybe for a black heart. That would be really awesome. Let's get this dude kind of geared up. So yeah, his cape, <laughs> he's flowing in the wind as he's charging off on his pirate ship. He's got a little bit tough fingers there. You know, if I'd been dead for a while too, to the point of become a skeleton, then I might, my fingers might be a little stiff too. Slide the drum gun in, because, you know, we only need one hand for that drum gun, right? I think this dude looks really cool. I think he is the best of the three. We're going to leave this here, because Tiantina can... Oh, wait a minute. We don't have a Tiantina yet from Jazzwares. Maybe we'll get her soon. Golly. Sorry, couldn't help it. Had to do that one. But he's about four inches the same height as all the others. And there's really no complaints about this figure at all. I think he's really, really awesome. And I think this is probably the closest that I would say would qualify for that master grade, that more premium level. We've gotten a few of these weapons before, so it doesn't really... If he would have been gold kind of a gold color. He, he, he does kind of shimmer a little bit. There's some paint apps like down here on the foot that's missing. Uh, you, you can't, you can see that. And the gold on the figure is not as shimmery. If it would have been more shimmery, we got the glow version of this dude. Yeah, he would have been way up there, but he's just almost, but he is the best. All right, let's keep moving. And finally, we come to the highly anticipated figure number 208, that is Zero. And I say highly anticipated because a lot of people online, I, I noticed we're talking about him and couldn't wait to see him. And same here, Zero is one of my favorites and I have been really highly anticipating this figure. And then I got him in hand. So anyway, he comes with these weapons, back bling, uh, harvesting tool, and this page of instructions. And I'm going to move the instruction manual away for the moment because my fan keeps trying to blow it over. So let's take a look here. We've got a tactical assault rifle. And these are all in the Fractal Zero wrap, by the way. So that's what the colors are. We've got a tactical assault rifle. We've got a rapid fire SMG. We've got a proximity grenade launcher. I kind of went out of order from what I usually do. We've got the black hole back bling. We've actually gotten one of these before. This is just a new version, a new style of it. And finally, for the harvesting tool, we do have the cosmic llama corn. And he does. Well, it does look cool. It's got translucency. Where's my knife? Get my knife out. Let's get a dull knife out. But anyway. He's got translucency right through there. If you notice there, you can kind of see the knife through it. He's got translucency translucency in the eyeball and the horn. What's really cool is this sucker lights up. So 
don't get your hopes up here it's not real easy mine isn't real easy but the button is if i can remember right the button that was right here under the behind back side of the main it's right there that's a button there and we got a I heard a click so you see there you go it's lit up it's blinking it's not in focus and it's not dark but let's see if I pop off a couple lights here can you see a little bit better it's getting cooler looking isn't it so the eyeball and the horn actually that looks really cool that's like a demon unicorn coming after you right there so let's get these suckers back on so we can turn them off again in just a moment. But that's really cool. The button, so if the battery ever dies on this llama corn, you're out of luck. So I wouldn't run this more often than you need to because they, unless you crack this thing open, you can't change the battery. At least according to the instructions, you can't change the battery. If you crack it open, you might be able to. I'm not sure exactly the battery style. All right, the main event, Zero the Figure, the highly anticipated... And in my my opinion, I'm sure not all of you will agree, a highly disappointing figure. This is probably, in my opinion, the weakest of all three. Oro's first, Midas Rex second, Zero three. And that's really difficult for me to say because he looks really cool. And he's one of my favorite skins. And... I've been anticipating this figure ever since I heard it was coming out. Why is this a great disappointment? Because I'm an articulation nut. That's why. He's got nothing here at the waist. He's got nothing here at the chest. And so... That, that hurts. Why doesn't he have that? Let's tell you the valid reason why he has no articulation at the waist or the chest. That's because on the back, let's zoom in here or <laughs> zoom in or get a little bit closer. Right here, you can see there's a screw and there's an on and off switch. So flip this there. And look at that. Our boy here lights up. Look at that. Zero lights up. That's their gimmick for zero as I flip my lights off again. Let's see how well you can see Mr. Zero. So out of the entire thing, this is all that lights up. Just the chest, just the neck, and just the back. That's cool, huh? That's really awesome. I do like the idea. It's not a gimmick I'm going to use anytime soon. And truthfully, I can say this as a kid, when I had figures that had limited articulation, I didn't like them then either. Sure, he can rotate his thighs. Sure, he can have double knee joints and rotation and pivots and hinges at the ankle. He can rotate his arms and bring his shoulder. Oh, there's another thing. The shoulders only actually go up that far because of the molding on the shoulders. He can, if I can, there we go. He can bend at the elbow, rotate, and hinge at the wrist. He can do all that stuff. He can rotate even at the head. Oh, the head also does not have a hinge, so you can't go back and forth. It's just a left to right on this. You can do all that things, and you can still probably put him in a couple cool poses, but you can't maneuver the chest, the torso, the waist. You can't do any of that because he is stuck he is frozen so you're gonna have to come up with some really creative side poses for this dude by the way i don't mind leaving the light on this guy while we're talking because i keep bumping my camera because there's a screw there for a reason he takes two batteries that you can replace now when i actually was checking this thing out because he didn't come working i opened this thing up this is such a tight compartment that when you take it off, when you take this little compartment off, it is really difficult to get this thing back on. I hope you don't break it. I just hope you don't. Also, check out on his rear end. Let's look at his butt for a minute there. If we can see that. Look at all those stamps he's got there. Like, what's that? Like, I know they... Okay, so I will praise Jazzwares for the fact that they aren't, like, bright white. 
So that's cool. They did try to blend it with the colors. I will give them credit there, but man, really? Why couldn't they be like on this inner leg or something? Why do they have to be like right there on the butt? I don't know if there's like a rule or something to where these labels have to be like right at the point of whatever's happening. I don't know. Anyway, like I said, you know, there's probably going to be a fair amount of people who disagree with me. This may be their favorite figure. I mean, cool. He lights up. But because of that limited articulation, I would just, I really like the translucency of this figure. The whole thing is like, he's actually really better than the reboot figures, I would say. I think he's really cool. And this would have been, in my opinion, probably the best and most perfect version of Zero had it included the waist and articulation. They were so close. They were almost there. Mm. And then we lost the articulation and it killed this figure, at least for me. And I don't know. You got to make up your own minds. Make up your own opinions. I'm just sharing mine. I'm not trying to convince you that this figure sucks because I think it does. And I hate to be so negative. I'm usually, I try to be so positive and so happy about these things. I love these figures. I love this line. And I'm pre, uh, because I like it, I'm already, you know, going to like the figures. But when a figure just is, when someone drops the ball on a figure, it hurts. I'm going to call it out. Can he put a back bling on? Yes, he can still put this back bling on. So there's that. Can he hold things? Of course he can hold things. We can put this, there we go, rifle in his hand. So he looks cool with the rifle. We can also then put the cosmic llama corn, maybe. There we go. Oh, oh, he's got a thumb bending issue. So some of these figures, unfortunately, have a thumb bending issue. And depending on how you try to put an item in the hand, you might screw up the thumb. I did that on a figure a while ago, and I don't remember now which one it was. But I started to screw this one up before I caught it. So be careful when you're shoving things in hands. Making, make sure you're not accidentally doubling the thumb back in on itself. Because if you do, you've really screwed that little tiny piece of plastic up. We're going to bring in our other dudes and join in the fun as we wrap up the video. There we have again Zero in the middle, Midas Rex on the left, and Oro on the right. Here are my favorites, Oro number one, Midas Rex number two, and Zero number three. Who are your favorites? In what order? What do you think about these Master Grade figures? Please tell me all your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.